Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This reading is for all water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and it's for the week of 23rd from the 23rd to the 30th of March. So March 23rd to the 30th, the whole week. I hope you will enjoy this reading. I hope this reading helps you understand where you're at in, your, in regard to your relationships. This is a love reading, all about love, relationships, um, everything you need to know about yourself, your person, where you're at, where you're heading, what's coming, what you don't know, what you do know, what is yet to be known, all that, everything. Now, my dear viewers, what I've done is, you see these cards that are closed. These cards are messages for each and every one of you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And what you need to know is that the reason I've done those is for you to ask a question or, for example, if there's something you want to know in particular and you want to make it personal and it becomes specifically for you, you can actually choose one of these. These two have come together too, so I put them together. There's one, there's these two, there's this, there's this, and there's that. But there's two more in regard to timing. So let's have a look. I'll just do this now. Oops. Now I'll just try to do it without you seeing anything. I should. Okay, here we go. So we've got one and one more. And I'll just turn it over. There it is. There. Okay. So, my dear viewers, you've got choices. You can pick and choose this and that. You can choose this and this. You can do whatever you want to make it personal, to get an answer, or to get a specific message just for you. This is for all, each and every one of you. But I just, I've just done that to make it a bit special, to make it a little bit personal. So I hope you will enjoy it and let us begin. Once I take out two cards from here, two messages, then I will start opening these messages. And if you're not ready, just put me on pause and then unpause me to see what the answers are. Now, for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, let's see two messages. Starting with the first one. We have joy, beautiful, happiness, joy, success in relationships and partnerships. That's beautiful. The second one, I'll just shuffle it one more time. Miracles. Wow, that is amazing. Joy, happiness, and miracles. And the miracles are also about success. We've got double two and thirty one four, which is all about success. Success, big time coming. Uh, it is connected to the Chinese ear of the rabbit, just in case some of you want to know. Chinese ear of the tiger, Chinese ear of the rat. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm ready to start opening these messages and let's see what they're saying. Okay, so I need my glasses. We'll start with the first one. It says effort. Effort is needed to put into any relationship where you're at now. It needs your, um, your effort, your time in order for it to succeed. So very important effort. Just bear with me, my dear viewers. Just a little bit of water. Here we go. So effort being very important at this point in time to pay attention to what's needed and to put the effort in there. In regard to timing, we've got one to three. So one to three could be one to three weeks. It could be April itself. <coughs> it could be uh, 13 weeks if you want timing. That's that one. I'll open this one. And we've got teaching and learning. The relationship you're in now, perhaps, it's all about learning and teaching. It could be um, a, a karmic situation where you learn from each other. It is going to come to an end, ultimately, but there is a lot to be learning from each other. It looks to me a lot of changes are going to take place. Ultimately, there'll be freedom. And then ultimately, once you free yourself from it, it's going to be, um, it's actually, I feel like it's going to be, until you learn all the lessons that it's coming to an absolute ending and then you are free from it. But this is a timing between five to seven weeks or up to, I would say, uh, 12 weeks from now. Chinese year of the dragon, very strong here. Chinese year of the horse, Chinese year of the pig, Chinese year of the rat and the tiger. Okay, now let's go into this one. And it says miracle. Wow, we have miracle twice. Miracle. So miracles are going to take place, especially one in particular. One miracle is going to be um, taking place here. This is just incredible. Miracles. Wow. Transformations that are going to bring on miracles. That's really incredible. Mm, okay. 
miracles. So that's that one. And then this one here. And we've got joy. Oh my God, joy. How are oh, the synchronicities amazing? Joy, happiness, and miracles. Joy, happiness, and miracles. I've, I've never had this ever. Joy, happiness, twice, and miracle. And miracles twice to it, actually. There it is. Miracle twice. Miracles. Just in case you're not seeing it. And joy. There's joy there. And there's joy here. So you can see it. Like this is really unbelievable. I love that. When these synchronicities take place, they're just amazing. Okay, so joy and miracle. So be assured that things are going to be spectacular for you. Miracles are going to be taking place. My dear Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Okay, now we come to the next one. We'll take this one. It says, I remember every detail of that day. There's going to be a special day that's going to be uh, a special momentum where you'll never forget it. So I remember every detail of that day, that particular day. This could be connected to Cancerians. Okay, now let's see. Finding out the truth crushed me. Finding out the truth crushed me. This could mean that there is something that might be coming close to an ending or that might be transcending, transforming. That could be. Let's see. We're going to find out more. Now we're going to take these two. It says you came closer than anyone. This could be connected to Pisces because it was here. You came closer than anyone. We need to let each other go. Oh, my God. This is about the, you came closer than anyone. It means you came so close to this person's heart that they were never thought anyone they could feel that much love for. But ultimately, it looks like finding out the truth is crushing this person. They're realizing that they've got to let, let each other go. Letting each other go. That's amazing. Oh, my God. That is very deep very deep maybe it was a time where you had to learn from each other teach each other lessons maybe this person has to lose you and then learn a lesson that they had something wonderful they lost it um, maybe you needed also some of you might have gone through some sort of learning how to have someone wonderful but then lose them the transformations because they want to be free maybe because um, they were not ready for something like a committed relationship but doesn't matter you are destined for love. You are destined for joy. And that's that's all that matters. Now, my dear viewers, what I'm going to do is take out. Oops. There's the past. Okay, so we've got the six of cups. I'm going to take three more. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, the past, saying goodbye and having beautiful memories, going through memory lane and then finally realizing that you've got to put the past behind you. This one here. Let's see what else. There is something happening here, some sort of uh, money coming in, unexpected amount of money that could be supporting you in some way. We'll find out. I'll clarify everything. This could be part of the miracle. Okay, air energy. This could be uh, some, some of you could be dealing with air energy, air energy being Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Someone that's very honest and brutal. And very truthful, very truthful. We'll find out more. And last but not least, the painful truth. <clears throat> the painful truth where you need to walk away from a situation. You've been procrastinating because, maybe because um, this uh, situation, this person is really worth, uh, maybe, oh my God, finding out the truth crushed me. But this one here, you came closer than anyone else. You mean a lot to this person and it was so hard for them to let you go but they're coming to terms with the truth and the truth is to actually let this situation go because the truth of the matter is this situation is coming to an end so there's a lot of effort there's a lot of battles there's too much going on this person wants their freedom and they're being truthful they want to be free they don't want to be tied down into a relationship where you may be feeling you might be a person who's in connection to these people. You could be an air energy here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, feeling unloved, uh, maybe feeling, you know, um, that you've got to walk away from this. 
you came closer to anyone. We need to, this is like a person really coming to terms with they've got to let go someone that they care about that came so close to their heart, but they want their freedom. They want to be free. Oh my God, this is amazing. That's why these two cards united. I didn't know why. You came closer than anyone. We need to let each other go. I was shocked when they united. And these are the synchronicities that I love of uh, guiding angels and the way they maneuver everything. Now, my dear viewers, what I'm going to do is find out what are the star signs that unite you all together, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, with whom you're dealing with. I know we've got an um, air sign here, so let's see which air sign is it. Let's see what unites you and what's coming. What are four star signs that, okay, so we've got Mars, the ruler of Aries. we got Mars. Okay, let's see. Fire. Water always has to have, have fire. Okay, and then we've got Virgo. Virgo, Earth energy. We've got Jupiter, the rule of Sagittarius, fire. And another one fell here, Cancer. So some of you may also be dealing with Cancer. So there's four of them here. Is there anyone else? I'll just see if there is one more. Yes, there is one more. Here we go. And then we got Taurus. Wow, Taurus. Okay, so Virgo, two Earth energy. We got Jupiter. We got Taurus and Virgo. They're both Earth energy. And these Earth energies doesn't mean they are going. They could be coming in because water goes beautifully with Earth. Water goes beautifully with fire. Water goes well with, with water also. So we got fire. Uh, Aries, Mars and Jupiter are Aries and Sagittari Sagittarius. That's fire energy. Water energy, Cancer. Uh, some of you could be with Cancerians, and some Cancers could be with Cancer, some Scorpios could be with Cancers, and some Pisces could be with Cancer. So Taurus and Virgo. Now, that's very interesting. Okay, what I'm going to do is find out some more messages, and then I'll get some more tarot. Now, let's just get two messages. Cancer. Wow, that's one. I need one more. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and that's the other one. Okay, let's have a look at these messages glasses on it says here that i'm afraid you are going to meet someone else before i'm ready to be with you with you for good oh my goodness it says i'm afraid you are going to meet someone else before i'm ready to be with you for good oh wow this is so deep this is connected to this you know how it says you came closer than anyone, but we need to let each other go. This person wants to be free. They want to explore their options, but they're afraid that if they let you go, um, they are, they're afraid that you might meet someone. So even if they're letting you go, but it's like they still want you and they don't want you to be with someone else, but they're afraid. But again, they are going to risk it. I feel like this is the saddest truth that they need to let go and they've wanted to let go for some time even though they're loving and they don't want to hurt you but it looks to me like um the truth of the matter is that there's only one option and the only option is the truth to be truthful and let you go and not do the wrong thing by you it's, it's like they don't want to cheat you it's incredible because you are the closest thing they've ever loved so but they are afraid that they might lose you to someone else before you know it's like it's as though somebody loves you for good they want you forever and yet they've just come out of a relationship and they want their freedom and they want to explore their option and then they meet you and they're head over heels and then they don't want to stop there they want to still explore and they don't have their options and it's someone honest somebody who doesn't uh who's not capable maybe of lying or cheating so they have no choice but to let you go and it's the hardest decision for them to do the hardest ever but they've got to make it. They've got to let you know. And that's going to, and what's going to crush them is the fact that you could end up being with someone else before they're ready to come back again and be faithful in a relationship and be just happy with you, uh, exclusive. So this is very, very deep. I feel like there is a chapter ending, without a doubt. It's ending. And no matter how close you are, this person has a journey ahead of them. There's a journey of, a, of freedom. They want to be free before they're connected. Do you see that? And they're afraid that there could be someone else coming and taking you away when they're ready to be with you for good. <sighs> How deep is that? Oh, my God. I'm getting chills. This is incredible. Okay. Okay. Now, let's not <laughs> lose track of everything. Come back here. Karmic ties. Okay. What was this one? Patterns. Yeah. Okay. End of a chapter. 
connected to Chinese year of the rooster or the rat also could be something happening here now we've got karmic ties past lives are influencing our connection i've lost you in other lifetimes and that makes me afraid i need to heal the grief to allow the love to bloom oh my god wow past lives are influencing our connection luck now i've lost you in the other lifetimes and that makes me afraid I'm afraid of losing you in this lifetime. Again, oh my God, I got chills. See how they're afraid? Some, I'm, a, I'm afraid you're going to meet someone else before I'm ready to be with you for good. This is so incredible. Miracles are really going to take place in, in some circumstances. I feel like this is to do with people who don't like lying and they love someone, but they want to flirt, they want to cheat, but they can't cheat. Oh my God. And then most of all water, water energies find it very hard to cheat. So instead of doing that, they're probably letting go of someone they really care about. And they want to explore more, have more fun. Maybe they were already in a tight relationship and they have, haven't had their freedom. And now it's like they've been with you for some time and now they want to go. But they they will grieve if they do um, lose you. Chinese year of the goat here, August. Somebody has got Leo or Virgo. Leo Virgo here, and we've got Virgo here, Virgo. So it's somebody who's got Virgo in them, and this person will be very attractive, very attractive. Okay, wow, okay, let's see now. I'm just going to get two more, and then I'm going to get the tarot. Now let's see, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, just one or two messages. Okay, I got one, and there's a dog, a loyal, there's loyal friendship, there's someone very loyal here, extremely loyal. The dog is known for their loyalty. Chinese here of the dog also here, very strong. Um, and and the dog is about support. Someone very supportive. They've got a very and 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 there's a lot of very very deep friendship between you and this person. They're helpful. They're playful. They're faithful. There it is. What I'm trying to say: loyalty and faithfulness. That's why this person is finding it hard to do anything unless they they let go of someone they love because they don't want to cheat them they, they want to explore but oh my god this is so deep this is so deep and intense it's someone so faithful that they don't cheat they don't do betrayal so what they do they leave the person they love because they they are probably getting um attracted to other people and they're finding it hard to hold themselves and and oh my goodness Someone that you have a great friendship with. There's spectacular friendship with this person. A friendship that did turn to love. Maybe you, you had just come out of a relationship and you didn't want to be involved in a deep relationship and you were just friends. And then you found out that this friend over time, you fell in love with this friend, but you were just out of a relationship that was, that you didn't have a chance to explore your options and have more fun. Maybe you, you got into a relationship at a very young age. Wow. This is a soulmate connection. That's why this is like a soulmate situation. This is about someone from your past lives. You've got karmic ties together and, and they're letting you go. Uh, even though like they're, they're really sad, procrastinating and not wanting to make this decision. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to hurt themselves. But they have no choice. Now, some of you could be dealing with someone that has a pet. You could have a pet yourself. Uh, there is a situation where you might be uh, in need of help, support. And this person's been very supportive towards you also. Very supportive. 18 here. Chinese year of the rat, Chinese year of the goat, Chinese year of the monkey, Chinese year of the rooster. Rooster twice. We have 18, which is also 9. 9 means end of a chapter, a challenge, and then it comes to an end. It also shows that you could be dealing with uh, someone, which again, we've got Virgo. Very strong Virgo. Libra here. Uh, Leo, very strong. Mm, very interesting. And now I'm going to go into three more, three more important messages. I'll just take this beautiful. Did I read about this? Did, no, I didn't. Sorry. There's another one here. Healing relationships. This is beautiful. Partnerships, healing and love. Clever. Clever is about luck. Extraordinary luck. Luck. Happy coincidence. That's why we've got joy here. Why do we have joy here? Of course, because there is the clever. And the clever is all about happiness, joy and happiness. 
Happiness and joy coming. So no matter what's happening, no matter how painful it may be, there's joy and there's happiness coming. So be prepared for that. That is amazing. Wow. So there's good fortune, good luck. Um, a reward is coming also. And, you know, somebody, there's happiness coming also, unexpected rendezvous. There it is, unexpected rendezvous. So there is sort of a fling. There is someone wanting to explore, but they don't want to cheat. They don't want to take action until they actually end it with um, each other, like, you know, end the relationship. This is really, really, like I said, very painful, very deep. Because a lot of people just cheat and they become traitors, betrayal. But if, they, if it's someone that is in that situation, it is something very, very amazing when there's someone so honest to that point. I know you might not see it, but um, you might not understand what I'm talking about. But nowadays, it's so hard to find someone so honest and so truthful that before making a mistake, they hold themselves accountable in this, every step they take. And... Yeah, it's, this is incredible. Okay, now my dear viewers, let's have a look. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, three messages. The three of pentacles. You are in team together. You work well together. I feel like you might meet someone also at work. I also feel like there's a chance of business. We work together in a business, hand in hand. Some of you work together, there's work. Uh, teamwork here. Maybe some of you are working in teamwork to actually move to the next level. Or some of you could be meeting someone spectacular at work. Or you might be proposed a business or something where you're working with people and you meet someone spectacular. Let's have a look. The next one. Yes, Page of Cups. Now, this is connected to Pisces, very strong Pisces. You could be working with a Pisces. Um, business, Pisces are in business, could be a business. I also feel like there could be a, a an idea or an inspiration. This is for all of you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that there could be someone that's inspiring you to take you to the next level or uplift you to it. I'm going to clarify this so we can know further what it is. And finally, we have judgment. And judgment seals the deal because judgment is about a new lease of life. It's a new beginning, a new, a new way of life that heals you, that compensates you for the loss of someone that you truly love and bring you someone incredible. And I feel like this is happening very soon. Uh, and this is going to be changing your way of thinking, bringing on a new concept, a lot of healing and someone magnificent, a new way of life and so someone new in your life. Let's see who that someone is. OK, let's have a look at this. We're going to take three cards. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. OK, so we got one. We got two and one more. And there's the other one. OK, so let's have a look. Now, the main thing that I want to say is that it says here, pay attention to the signs, uh, attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you to be aware that there is something going on. So there could be a situation that you need to be aware of. Um, this person finally got, is going to make that transition and, and help themselves leave you to do the right thing and then not hurt you. But they are trying to, maybe in the process, they might make a mistake. That's why they're saying here, finding out the truth crushed me. Uh, it could mean that they, they might procrastinate until they actually let someone go because they're in love with them and they don't want to hurt them at the same time. So it's a really, really, really hard um, fact here going on, a hard uh, situation. This could be the one. So they might have met someone or you could be meeting the, the one. Now here with the judgment card, a rebirth, this could be the one. You could be meeting someone spectacular uh, and this person could be from your past lives also. That's another uh, matter that you can look into, like really um, consider someone from your past life that they, you're meeting here now. And finally, you think this is the one. This could be happening very soon. So that's that one. Um, and the other one here, it says, heart to heart conversations, honestly discussing your feelings with each other. And this could be the time where this person actually tells you. And this could be a bit crushing uh, when you're finding out the truth that they want to leave and they think like, you know, leaving each other. We need to let each other go. This could be very painful. Heart to heart conversation leading to this. So um, let's have a look at, I understand this is very painful. My DVO is extremely painful. I do feel, however, 
this is a chapter that's coming to an end. I do feel like you are destined for happiness and joy. And I do feel like someone wonderful is coming and they could be the one. So you are destined for joy without a doubt. There's joy and happiness coming your way. And there is a lot of luck. So you are going to meet someone amazing. That's for sure. Luck is the clever isn't only about luck. It's also about good fortune. It's about a reward. So this relationship might have hurt you. Uh, because of, you might have been really in love with this person, but I feel like um, they're doing the right thing by you. You've got to see the bigger picture. They want to, uh, they don't want to sort of make mistakes. Maybe they're feeling it. They know they're weak and they don't want to cheat you at any cost because you are the closest thing they've ever come to love, uh, you know, or their dream person. But circumstances sometimes govern everything. So that's why I see luck, happiness, and you could be meeting the one. That's very important to know. Now, miracles are going to take place. And now let's clarify the cards and see what's going on. The first one I want to know about is this, um, the page of swords. Let's see who this person is, because it's an air energy. And um, we didn't have any air come up here. Although did we have no, we didn't have any air. So let's see who this person is. Oh, oh, oh. So we've got the Eight of Cups. And it is an air energy without a doubt. Okay, so it could be an air that has fire in it because these three cards opened up. It shows to me that this could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And they might have Sagittarius, Leo, Aries in them. There it is, air energy again. And I feel like finally uh, this person is going to be leaving emotionally hurt leaving in, in search of true love maybe very sad that they're leaving so i feel like an an air um, fire energy is going to leave a water energy so if you are with someone that's aquarius gemini libra with um fire energy like sagittarius because we've got jupiter here sagittarius maybe they're leaving very sad very distorted very unhappy and they're going my goodness gracious so yeah, leaving an air energy behind. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, either one. Now let's have a look at the Four of Pentacles and see what the air yeah, leaving. Do you see that? Leaving an air energy, the truth. Because of the truth that's crushing them, they're leaving. You see that? Finding out the truth crushed me and they're leaving. Because this person becomes honest uh, with them and tells them the truth. So... This could be, you know, you leaving because they became honest and told you the truth that they don't want to cheat, but they want their freedom. Now, let's have a look at the um, the Four of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles. Trapped, being trapped, maybe because of uh, uh, not being able to be free to do what you want. Let's have a look at the Four of Pentacles for all water energy. Okay, so it looks like there are arguments, there are problems, uh, disagreements. There's a lot of disagreements. Feeling trapped and unhappy in a relationship. Maybe the relationship turned into a lot of a battlefield and there's constant battle. And uh, you feel like the truth is overwhelming you. And you didn't want to, you finally had to make the right choice and the right decision. And that's why you're leaving. Some of you are going to be dealing with, um, you know, abundance coming to you money is coming to also free you to go maybe um some of you were stuck because of due to money working together don't forget we have the three of pentacles so you might be working together and you could have a business together uh, especially if you're a pisces uh, you know you might have a business with someone and it's fi finding it hard to leave so abundance is coming and a lot of nurturing power to help you overcome this problem and to finally be able to move forward from that so that's that is excellent to know. Let's have a look at the Three of Pentacles. Yes, a challenge is going to be met and overcome. And finally, you are going to have victory. You're moving away from this. Uh, let's see if you are working together. I feel like you could be moving. If you are working together, you're moving away from where you're working. I feel like you are destined, uh, those of you who are left behind, you're destined to be with your soulmate. You could be meeting your soulmate. And living a life of happiness and luxury because due to that money that's coming, unexpected money giving you power to be able to move, to move to the next level. Destiny intervening and ultimately there is a great celebration. Not to mention, I saw the Ace of Wands twice. I've got to take it. A great new beginning, a great new love coming. This could be the one that's coming with the um, destiny could be bringing on someone amazing. You see that? destiny celebrating a new beginning and there is this person where this per the person could be the one the one that's amazing 
Okay. Now, um, let's move on to the next level here. And what I want to know now is, let's have a look at this decision, the Seven of Swords, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What is this? Is this the truth about wanting to leave and not wanting to hurt someone behind? Yes, it is about healing, leaving, seeing it and and wanting to achieve something and finally being able to do it but it's also about radiance and healing something that's been hurting something that hasn't been somebody that's been just sacrificing maybe or just withholding from the truth finally the sun shines it's like the moon it shows you the way it gives you the radiance the healing you want the success uh, the power someone maybe you're meeting someone this is also about meeting someone some of you meeting someone wonderful that you're going to have a lot of happiness with, a lot of joy and um, a lot of blessings. For maybe those of you who are uh, l being left behind, I feel you might be celebrating a great destiny coming at a perfect timing when you're just in the process of um, leaving someone. Joy and happiness are meant to be. Because um, don't forget the clever gives you abundance of good luck so it could bring someone, bring the one to you. So happiness, and you're hurraying from a lot of happiness. So could be the one. This is the, this could be the one. There you go. This could be the one coming in your life, and you're hurraying and happy um, at the outcome, at the great outcome that's here. With the four of wands, the clever, and this could be the one. Now, let's move on to the next level. And there is some good news and someone coming. And you are destined for a lot of happiness, without a doubt. I just wanted to see, I was going to say, what's judgment bringing? And there it is. Great news, a new life, happiness coming your way. But I will still cut it for judgment, this rebirth. I was in that intention. Yes, there is that someone. Remember, um, there was that page of... What happened? Where did that page go? There was the page of... Um, there it is, I think. No, what was this one? Oh, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, no, we had the page before, I think. Uh, the page of, um, I said it was the, I remember saying it was the, connected to Pisces, I think I said. Anyhow, the point of the matter is, I don't want to be late. Now, uh, there is someone inspiring, someone wonderful inspiring coming your li in your life, someone wonderful you're meeting, which could be the one. A lot of revelations, a lot of truth are released by water energy, and it could be Pisces releasing them because it's usually is a Pisces one. But it could be a water energy. Uh, you know, some of you could be dealing with, um, some of you could be Cancerians dealing with water energy. Some of you could be Scorpions and releasing. But truth comes out and you finally know your path where you're going and that's why you're leaving. You finally got to know the truth. And the truth is what's releasing you. And finally, you're, if you are the one who is uh, leaving or releasing the truth, ultimately, uh, there is going to be happiness. Joy and miracles are going to take place. Nothing can take that away from you. There is someone new for you, without a doubt. Someone wonderful that could be the one. And a lot of happiness with that. Someone that will give you everything you've always wanted. And sometimes things fall apart because of these things. When destiny intervenes, and brings on or takes um, something away, it gives you something else. Maybe you are destined to be with someone different. And this other person could have fire energy in them, Sagittarius. Because we've got Sagittarius, we've got Aries also. So there's fire energy in this uh, page of wands. And destiny could be intervening and bringing you someone that you are going to be very happy with. That's why the, the card said um, that you could be meeting someone else. By the time I'm ready, you could be with somebody else afraid that you will be going and meet, meeting someone um, just before when I'm ready to be with you for good. So this is really incredible because you are, you are destined for a lot of happiness. You could be destined to meet someone spectacular and start a new life together. That is the end of the reading. My dear viewers, I can't wait to hear your comments. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading. Don't, um, um, do let me know, I meant. And if you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and support me if you're interested. It's absolutely free. doesn't cost anything. And also support me by seeing the videos all the way through to the end without stopping them. That means a lot of, um, a lot 
to me it doesn't cost you anything anything i ask for is absolutely free everything i do in this channel is absolutely free i just hope you enjoyed this i hope it does heal you to know that you are you got twice joy twice miracles in your life a lot of happiness destiny intervening and someone new and could be the one don't forget that no matter how hard it is to grasp this now because you're in the midst of this uh, catastrophic being crushed knowing the truth but remember everything happens for a reason and you've put a lot of effort it's time to be rewarded with a new rebirth judgment is going to bring you a lot of healing and a new lease of life so they're already promising you a lot of joy a lot of happiness and miracles a lot of love and light namaste